the first inaugural uh, startup beginning ultra hardcore series for uh, for Shanks at Dawn guys. Introduce yourselves, starting from over there. That guy. You, I'm uh, Hello, I am Embot. That is Embot. I'm on. We got uh, this bloke here. That's me. You keep up. And then this bloke here. I'm Service Black. And him. Disdained. And him. He's a, he's a block of stone. Another sure. another person here. Yellow shirt. Comed. And last but not least. Mr. One Wolf. And me, of course, Armitage. Um, this is going to be a free-for-all, ultra-hardcore. Um, and... The usual rules apply, no no branch mining. Um, what else was there? No branch mining. Uh, the uh, what collision. about caves? What about caves? Uh, do we have to go into a cave, or can we just dig into the mountain? If, you, if you're having trouble finding a cave, you can dig, as long as you don't branch mine. You can, like, dig staircases down, etc., etc. I did want to ask one thing. After watching... Uh, Season four, re- the uh, uh, rematch. I would like to limit wolves to one per person because multiple wolves is just ridiculous. It's like an I win button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so limit of one wolf. One wolf per person. Yeah. Hey, I'm so here. You're allowed to tame one. Yes, you're allowed to <laughs> tame yeah, so one. one. So one wolf. <laughs> Here you go, one wolf. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> oh, look, a bone. Hey, yeah, you hit me with that bone. Yeah. Your eyes, I guess means you oh, get away. Oh, I got steak <laughs> now. Um, yeah, so one wolf per person. Um, and the recipes have been changed or will be changed. So it is a, a block of gold and a slice of watermelon for glistering melon for your potions. And... Yay, what so the fuck? Just... <laughs> here, here. Stop, drop, and roll. Um, drink this. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> what oh, the... I guess the <clears throat> he washed away all the torches. Um, <laughs> and golden apple requires nine... Oh, sorry, eight gold bars. Not eight uh, nuggets. 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 Okay. Nuggets. So we're, we're just actually here on the uh, Shanks at Dawn server. We're going to pull this map and then we're going to load up a random map and hopefully it will spawn us all in random locations not close to one another and then we are going to duke it out Mm -hmm. I'm ready alright, we all ready? yeah, I'm ready let's do it party started let's do it no (laughs) doke Okay, guys. Um, first thing I want to explain is I am a herpaderp. I actually did not record my live commentary for this. Um, the intro, I had to get the audio from um, One Wolf. And uh, yeah, I forgot to check Fraps to record my microphone. So I'm going to just do a commentary, uh, like a voiceover. Um, first thing I want to do, obviously, is gather some wood. Um, Now, I started in a jungle biome, which, in a kind of a hilly area, um, which is not ideal. Um, So I'm going to make a workbench, of course. I will place the workbench and then make my basic tools, so uh, get some sticks. It was pretty late at night when I recorded this too, um, and get get a pick. Pretty sure that's, yeah, all I wanted to do was get a pick and pick my workbench up. So it was pretty late at night. When I recorded this, so the the commentary was actually really bad anyway, because it was really I was trying to be really quiet and um, not disturb my housemate, and it was also quite cold, and um, I was kind of tired. So, and it's very very like this is intense playing this. This is me trying to. uh, get down without taking any damage being silly and here comes a little buddy hello buddy and that's me panicking get the hell out of here (laughs) um oh no can't drop down there might take damage uh yep 
not following me. So that was a pretty ordinary start because I, I had to waste a little bit of time running away from a creeper. Um, so this is just, I'm just looking for a good spot to start grabbing some stone and making sure I can't see any nameplates around here. I've gone past coal a couple of times, but there's some coal I'll grab. Dang, dig, dig, dig. Thank you very much. Get some stone as well to make a stone pick. I should really have got the stone first. Got three stone blocks first. Um, and then, yeah, which I do. I make my stone pick. And I think I... Yeah, there we go. There's my stone pick. Get that rest of the coal. And um, for those of you who haven't had the opportunity to ha have a go at Ultra Hardcore, if you can, uh, even if you just download the mod and, in and install it to your single player Minecraft and have a go at it, just to see how different a game it is without classic regen. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's quite intense, even just playing not versus other people. Uh, so I think, yeah, I pick up my workbench here and I will head off, try and find uh, an area with a bit, like the, f the one of the most important things um, after tools is food. Uh, where am I going back for? I don't know why I went back, but I forget something. Oh, that's right, I wanted to make a stone sword, I think, and an axe. So I wanted a bit more stone. So I'm just getting that now, a little bit of building material in case I need to knock up a quick... Um, knock up a quick... Um, a shelter, and this is me just covering my tracks. So it doesn't look like anyone's been there, even though there's a bit of grass missing. Hopefully, if somebody stumbled across that, they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't actually see that someone had been there. And now we're going to get some more sticks, and we are going to make, I believe, a sword, an axe first. Very handy, and then a shovel. And I think, yeah, I'm going to get more sticks and make. A sword and another sword. So a couple of couple of swords, back up, chuck away my pick, pick it up again. <laughs> chuck my pick away again. <clears throat> Which is after covering up my tracks is a dead giveaway, there's a wooden pick sitting on the ground. If anyone sort of came by in that period. <clears throat> me sprinting, doing another no-no. So I'm going to go and try and find, uh, hopefully, yeah, we, there we go, some pigs over there. So we're going to go and do some pig killing. Get, our, get ourselves some pork chops. If we can actually hit anything. Yep, a couple of porky choppies there. And the swinging the sword is like <clears throat> one of the biggest food consumers. It, um, the only thing that does more, I think, is sprinting and jumping. So we got a nice little supply of pork chops from these guys. Um, there's quite a few piggy pigs around here. Go and get another piggy pig. Oink. And I th think I might start to get some more wood. Yeah, I'll get a bit more wood. Try and get an apple and from this uh, tree, hopefully. Um, and yeah, first death. That was... Uh, I missed who that was. Yeah, Cormid got the first kill. And uh, that was like five minutes in was the first death. So the map size that we used for this... Um, for this 
uh, ultra hardcore, I think, was a thousand by a thousand. Pretty sure. And Mini Red, that's so and chill. That's his uh, Minecraft name is Mini Red. Um, Oh, that's right, I spot Disdained, and man, I, like splash in the water, he doesn't notice me, he doesn't check behind him, and like I'm like, oh man, I'm like, he's going to turn around any second now and spot me. I'm trying to sprint, but because it's on the server, it does that weird bouncy thing, so I'm trying to run up as quick as I can, I'm jumping around like crazy, he still hasn't noticed me, he still hasn't noticed me, he's just merrily going on his way, I'm like right behind him, I just can't catch up. And it was at this point, I see the apple. I saw that apple and I thought, I'll come back and get that apple, but... Uh, I just stained, die, 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 yep. And then I kill Paul to stain. And this is where I go back. I go back to try and find the apple. And don't pick it up. And I, uh... I sort of was thinking at that point that maybe this map was a bit small, and the apple's gone, by the way. Apple just disappeared. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing now. I th think I'm like just running to get away from where he was. Uh, and we, we, we were thinking about restarting, but no. Uh, Mbot decided to say no. Disdain's a little bit surprised um, because it was so quick. But, you know, like, that was weird because he had ample time to, like, turn around and, uh, and, um, spot me. We're still discussing whether or not we continue on with this map, and we, we, we end up doing it, obviously. Why am I chopping a tree down with a pork chop? Idiot. And uh, everyone sort of just just agrees that uh, we continue on. And uh, I'm getting some more wood. That was uh, Disdain's, what was le left of Disdain's stuff. He only had, uh, he hadn't gotten any stone. So he only had a wooden sword and a few sticks. And I kind of felt bad that I'd taken him out so quickly. Um... You know, like, it, I think it's maybe not even 10 minutes in. I think it's about a seven minute mark. And uh, I already take out Disdain. So, pretty couple of pretty quick deaths. Sob and Chill out and uh, Disdain out. And now I'm. it's starting to get dark. So, I'm thinking to myself, I need to find a cave. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm just sort of exploring around, trying to find a cave. And I really wish I'd picked that apple up, that, uh, straight away instead of stopping to type. But anyway, on I go, I, uh, searching for a cave. Um, I, I, my game plan for this one was basically to get to iron as quickly as I could. Um, like, the first night, try and get... Uh, iron weapons and a little bit of iron armor um, and then hunt people um, and I my plan all along was to, to if I saw someone if I could get the drop on them like I did with um, with disdained and here's me trying to get down from a great height which is not smart This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I'm like digging out underneath myself. <laughs> I'm a nut bar. Anyway, <clears throat> oh, see, half a heart of damage from falling. Idiot. Um, thanks, Disdained. He was pretty good about it. He, I talked to him afterwards and uh, he was pretty good. He said, you know, I had no idea. He said there were so many animals around and my game sound, he said my game sound was really low. Um, <clears throat> and he just didn't hear me coming up behind me, even though, up behind him, even though I was making all that racket. So here, here I am still stuck out at night, um, in the open, 
in water. I don't know where there's mobs. Like, um, at this point, I'm kind of pretty, pretty concerned. I'm like, is that another name tag over there? What the hell? What's going on? You know, it's, you know, blah. It's dark. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really sort of. I need to find shelter right now kind of thing plus I've got a bar and a half of food um, so I get some more food it's the the beef I want I want the um, beef because the beef doesn't make you sick you can eat raw beef and not get sick and also you know the chance at leather for leather armor is always a is always a good starting point so here we go we eat some raw beef because we won't get sick from that, just to get our bars back a little bit, so that we're not, you know, to the point where we're going to starve to death. There's another cow over there. I'm still in the like it's pitch black almost, and I'm still <laughs> still just out and about like an idiot. I really need to find shelter <laughs> and get some uh, pork chops cooked. This is a bad spot too. Mountains are terrible, terrible places to be because uh, the likelihood of fall damage is quite high from, you know, just stepping off a platform that you don't know is going down to uh, you know, a four block drop. And uh, I believe... I don't know why I'm still out wandering around. Maybe I'm... I really can't remember my mindset at the time. After disdain, after the disdain kill, I was really quite pumped and and um, on edge, quite nervous that because the map was so small, that I'd get jumped any minute by someone. And this is me. I'm just running around killing pigs and not bothering. Ah, here we go. I found a cave entrance. So I'm going to go down into this cave and hopefully. It will lead me to some iron, which it does. So I get some iron, which is cool. Start of the iron. Um, I need to make some porches. Uh, plenty of uh, coal and sticks and so forth. Misplacing the, uh, the torch. And I think... Pretty sure I yeah I decide decide to block this this hole up so that I can't <laughs> use iron. <laughs> uh, block it up with iron that yeah that won't attract anyone. Get some more dirt. If anyone was around at the time, they would have just. I would have just found. So anyway, that's uh, that's the end of the first 15 minutes, and these are going to be 15 minute episodes. So we will be back very shortly with another episode, couple of days. Peace.